हेलो एवरीवन वी आर केमी इंजाज आर टॉपिक इज रिएक्टिव डिस्टिलेशन आर मेंटोर्स ओम हाजरी वाला एंड केविन देसाई टीम मेंबर्स हेतसा दृष्टि मेहता उत्सव सिंह एंड युवराज सिंह भाटी एम एम इज टू मैक्सिमाइज डिस्टिलेट एफिशिएंसी ऑफ रिवर्सिबल केमिकल रिएक्शन बाय इंप्लॉइंग अ रिएक्टिव डिस्टिलेशन कॉलम थ्रू डी डब्ल्यू सी मॉडलिंग सॉफ्टवेयर डिस्टिलेशन डिस्टिलेशन इन्वॉल्व कन्वर्जन ऑफ लिक्विड इंटू वेपर दैट इज सब्सिक्वेंटली कंडेंस इंटू लिक्विड फॉर्म थ्रू सेलेक्टिव बॉइलिंग एंड कंडेंसेशन टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्टिलेशन सिंपल डिस्टिलेशन स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन वैक्यूम डिस्टिलेशन फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन एजियोट्रोपिक डिस्टिलेशन एंड एक्सट्रैक्टिव डिस्टिलेशन प्रोसेस इंटेंसिफिकेशन इट इज एन एफिशियंट टेक्निक दैट इंटीग्रेट्स केमिकल रिएक्शन and distillation in a single apparatus at unit operational functional and phenomenal level of unit operation reactive distillation as the name implies refers to a distillation process which incorporates a reaction and a separation step within the distillation column arrangement reactive distillation is combination of unit operation and unit process these are some parts of reactive distillation A reboiler is a heat exchanger that is used to generate the vapor supplied to the bottom tray of a distillation column. The condenser is used to cool down the vapor and converting it into liquid. Trays are separation devices most often used in distillation towers for desired purity. Reactor is a vessel within which chemical processes are carried out for manufacturing purpose. Apart from this the reflux drum and pump are also there. Let's talk about why we need reactive distillation. In RD we can use reactors to release the energy in distillation process which reduce energy uses and cost. RD can increase efficiency and rates by removing product directly after formation. Also RD setup is comparatively smaller than separate setup of distillation and reactor due to which it is easy to handle. In distillation process segregation and conversion happens based on the input conditions. In reactor distillation continuous removal of products increases high equilibrium conversion. For distillation system, separate cooling or heating heating system and separate reactor is also required. In RD, no separate heating or cooling zone is required for the reaction zone. In distillation, heat of reaction will be high for condensation duty or reboiling duty. In RD, heat of reaction reduces either condensation duty or reboiler duty for the same reflux ratio. In distillation, number of stages will be higher for same value of reflux. RD requires lesser number of stages for the same amount of reflux which also decreases size of condenser and reboiler So now we have covered the theoretical aspects of reactor distillation design here is a realistic picture of how a distillation column actually works as demonstrated in the video there will be trays or packed pads between the rectifying and stripping sections there will also be a reboiler at the bottom and a condenser at the top which will be connected to a reflux drum to increase product purity the key difference is that reactor distillation includes a reactor in the center of the column which is the most significant core component of the rd process now we will look at the industrial applications of reactor distillation as mentioned in this slide these are some of the reaction techniques that are presently utilized by numerous industries The only requirement is that the condition of the reaction and separation process should be as similar to one another as possible so that both operations can operate simultaneously. Aside from these techniques, recovery of chemicals can also be achieved using an RD column. Here is an example of making ethyl acetate using the conventional system and reactor distillation. as we can clearly see that the process in the conventional system would be highly complex and also costly to operate but we can handle it in a single apparatus at a reasonable cost with energy conservation if we implement reactor distillation now coming to the dwsm software dwsm is a cap open compliant chemical process simulator it allows chemical engineering students and practicing engineer to model process plant by using rigorous thermodynamic and unit operation model since dwsm is a free and open source they can see how the calculations are actually being done by inspecting the code behind during execution using free tools available elsewhere after finishing the theory part 
we are now moving on to the simulation part where we have completed one cap open tutorial in dw sim for a better understanding of our main flow sheet in this section we will learn how to use the distillation column in dw sim for this we define a distillation column and use the cap open unit operation to simulate a distillation column first from the list of chemical compounds we choose for fural and ethyl acetate as our chemical compound and press next button here we select unifac as the property packages and the system of unit is set to si let us now introduce one feed stream and change the appropriate values of compound amount and for stream conditions the flash pack is pressure and vapor fraction and change the molar flow let us now introduce cap open using the cap open tab first join the appropriate connection in cap open now click the cap open editor button and a new window will appear in this section we first select energy pots after the specified number of stages and feed stages let us move on to the thermodynamic section in this section first choose decema for k value unifac for activity coefficient antoine for the vapor pressure and ideal for enthalpy once this change has been made go to pressure and ensure that the condenser pressure and top pressure are both 1 atm following this top specification was defined as the reflux ratio and bottom product mole fraction of compound now save all of your changes and close this window this is our final flow sheet after running simulation so that is what we have done so far and for future work we have mentioned an esterification reaction for the production of methyl acetate on which we will be working to design a flow sheet after that we will try to optimize the efficiency of the distillate now coming to the eureka moment according to us eureka means exceptional on conventional research enabling knowledge acceleration as the term implies research constantly improves knowledge however knowledge is polished if one can learn how to conduct effective research so as a chemi ninjas we learn about the proper research phase throughout this project and that will undoubtedly be our eureka moment thank you